Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is the Aethermod Adventure Part 10. I was wondering what jumped in the water there, that was kind of weird. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to be leaving this main area behind, uh, because it has come to my attention that the world spawning mechanics for uh, Aether Worlds has changed up quite a bit. Uh, there are various flowers that can now spawn all around the Aether, but more importantly, if you guys take a look out there, um, I'll try and do my best without getting close to the edge so I don't get knocked off but as you can see uh, with all of these uh, clouds that are around they're only white clouds and as many of you know uh, as I have in my inventory here uh, you can get what are called blue air clouds and uh, these things will bounce you all over the place and especially when you're riding on things like a pig or a flying mower or, what, or whatever it may be uh, these are very particularly useful for flying around so I'm going to seat myself let's see here all right, so I got my saddle. I'm gonna seat myself onto a pig here. I want to see you despawn. Oh, oh crap! Is there something firing? What's firing? And where's it firing at me from? Get out! Get on my! Get on! Get on! Get on my head! Get on my head, bunny! Let's quickly get out of here. I hear something firing. Oh, this is so! Oh, that pig is like dying over there. That's that's no good at all. That pig is like, that pig is tripping out. Alright, anyway, so we're going to be heading back to our main house here, uh, and, well, main house, it's really the only house, but yeah, we're going to be heading back here and stocking up on stuff again. Die! Ah, crap. Uh, I think I just hit the bunny, but luckily, I didn't hit it with anything too rough, so uh, we should be all set. But yeah, so I'm going to be uh, taking as much as I can here, and, uh, whoa, I, I see blue, what, what am I, what am I seeing here? I see blue stuff floating around. I think that maybe the bunny got hit by something. I don't even know. It's like, it's like crapping out blue stuff. It's like water. I don't even know. This is so weird. I can still see it. This is, this is really awkward. Anyway, so yeah, let me eat one of these here. But yeah, so I'm going to take the rest of these healing stones and I'm going to call this good for now. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try and take as many items as I can, or at least that I feel are going to be necessary all along the trip. So like, um, any abrosium shards that I might have. I'll take all these Danite gemstones, these two golden apples, which I got from the golden trees out there. And, uh, you know, I'll pick and choose wisely here. Let's see, I'll leave my flaming sword behind. I'll leave the dirt. I'll take the parachute, you know, just in case. I'll keep the gravitite obvious for obvious reasons. And, uh, all right, pig. There we go. What is... Okay, is this me that is causing this? This blue... Yeah, no, it's the bunny. I don't even know what's going on with that. That that bunny is, like, tripping. Maybe it's... It looks like it's partially blue. I don't even know what's going on right now. Uh, where am I? Oh, that's neat. When you, uh... When you rip apart your enchanter, it still gives you the stuff back. I, I remember there was a problem with furnaces a while back in the vanilla of Minecraft, where you would not get any fuel that was inside of it back. Alright, so let me take a Valkyrie Lance here. I still want to leave some more stuff behind. I'll definitely throw on the armor here, just to save some space. No, I didn't say throw away the boots, I said put on the boots. I think I tried to put them in the pants slot, and uh, people are going to bug me about that, because they assume I'm perfect, or at least a lot of my viewers do, but... Yeah. Alright, so I think we're I think we're pretty good for now, I would say. Wait, did the bunny despawn? I think the bunny might have despawned. I I'm not sure. Or maybe it just ran outside, I have no idea. Wait, did are you Hmm. Seems like we are down a bunny. Piglet, we're gonna have to go without the bunny. But I think the bunny will be safe here. Alright, uh okay, there's a bunny over there actually. I I'm gonna take one of these chests in the pros Ow! I'm gonna take one of these chests in the process just so I can uh, have something, have something to store my stuff in without having to make a, uh, without having to make you know another chest. All right, uh, let's see which one's gonna be best to break. Let's see. Let's take the rest of these. I'll break apart this one. I think this will probably be the best one. Oh, maybe not. I have no idea. All right, I need to start throwing crap away here. Go away. There we go. Got a chest. Got a chest, piggy. All right, uh, I think that's probably all useless stuff right there. So let's let's head off. Let's head off. But yeah, so you guys, so you guys are gonna see the uh, the new sort of areas as soon as uh, we end up encountering them. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be a whole bunch of blue air clouds, and what I'm mainly looking to get after in this episode is I want to find a silver dungeon, or at least a uh, a mineral rich area that's gonna have a silver dungeon somewhere near it. Because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this. 
but aethers do not spawn dependent on seed so if i were to give you guys the seed to my world for this it wouldn't spawn the same and the reason why i bring this up is because i was just sort of touring around this world or i should say a copy of this world because i never played the original the original uh file for it i always play a backup even when i'm you know capturing videos just so that if something goes terribly wrong then i can just restart it but i came across an area that had a gold and a silver dungeon right next to each other and it was actually relatively close to this area and unfortunately i wasn't capturing the footage uh, or doing narration or anything like that so uh it kind of stinks that that ended up happening Ooh, hold the phone i think we got a silver dungeon off in that direction all right, uh, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful here, um, but yeah, looks like looks like we got ourselves a silver dungeon already. Like I said, I'm hoping that the area is somewhat content rich, so that it is a uh, it is a decent enough place to settle down in. All right, I think I can make this jump here. Yeah, I'm easily gonna make the jump onto that hill. So this is pretty neat. Uh, if I end up finding a gold dungeon right next to this area, this is gonna be amazing. Uh, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe Aethers do spawn dependent on seeds. I don't know. I don't think that they actually do. I think that I just got extremely lucky finding a silver dungeon right here. Very cool. Ooh, and there's Gravitite. Oh, and that's another, that's another update that was included too, that Gravitite is a bit more common of a spawn. Like, it's not exactly something that you're going to have to put a whole ton of effort into finding. Like, it's, that's not, it's not to say that it's super common or anything, but it is there nonetheless. So I didn't really have to go too far for this. I might even still be able to see one of my towers off in the distance. Um, wow, this is like right underneath a silver dungeon. Let's take a quick look around though, see what we can find. I, I fear for my life because I know how brutal silver dungeons actually are. And uh, I don't want to go trying out the silver dungeon, f you know, and then losing all of my important stuff. Because I took all my important stuff with me. So uh, yeah, like especially like my gravitite sword here, that would suck. Ooh, it looks like we got ourselves a bronze dungeon underneath here, uh, so that's pretty neat. Like I said, here's all the flowers that I was talking about before, and a couple moas. Looks like we got ourselves a oh a black moa. Oh, oh I'm gonna totally I'm totally settling down right here. Uh, black moas. I I've actually never seen a black moa yet in the aether. Uh, this is a first for me. I've seen plenty of white ones. I've seen plenty of blue ones, but I have not seen myself a black moa. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna wait this out a little bit. And uh, see if I can get uh, a black moa egg to spawn. I need to make sure that I don't have any weaponry, weaponry in my inventory here. Because the last thing I would want to do is uh, hurt a black moa. Because uh, this is a rare find. Hope, I, I hope you guys know that. So this is definitely worth the wait. Especially with a silver dungeon right here. I'll hang around on my piggy. And we shall wait and see what happens. So I'm going to be skipping footage around here quite a bit. Don't be getting in my way, Moa. I saw that's what I saw. I saw what you were trying to do there. You're trying to get in the way of my lightning knife, so I would kill you. Well, you know what? Not today. I am not hurting you today. You are a rare spawn, and I have never seen one of you before. You are kind of scaring me right now. Or if you lay an egg that ends up going off the edge, what is going on over there? I see something down there, like right around my crosshair, that is just kind of flipping out. Is that like an egg down there? Oh god, I, w I wish I could go down there because that looks like a black egg or something, but that is way off in the distance. Come on, man. Yes, I hear you. I don't want to walk off too far. For a second, I thought that... For a second, I thought that blue moa just despawned, even though I wasn't that far away from it. Alright, how about... How about this? I will eat the golden apple, and you give me a moa egg. I will feed it to you, okay? Okay? Even though I'm going to actually be the one eating it? There you go. Okay. I ate it. Now, give me, a, give me an egg. Give me an egg. Give me an egg. Give me an egg. Come on. Come on. Give me an egg. Maybe I should get off the piggy. Maybe you might be offended that I'm choosing the piggy over... I heard that. Oh, baby. Black moa egg. Oh, yeah, baby. I heard that and I got that. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to set up camp here. Yeah, I'm going to set up camp here for the time being. A temporary shelter of sorts uh just for the time being i'm guessing you know like I, I i'm not even guessing i'm gonna set it up in like the side of one of these hills or something like that or maybe even right here this is this is kind of a good area it's really really flat and the dungeon's right there uh, let me see what do i got i got tons of logs 
I got some room in my inventory. Black Mo Egg. That excites me. That That's really exciting to me. Like I said, just because I know how rare they are and uh, the fact that I'm finding one at all. Yeah, I'm going to make like a total a total ghetto ghetto shelter here. Um, I, I don't even know like how ghetto of a shelter this is going to turn out to be, but I think it's going to be pretty get ghetto. All right. I'm not sure if I should be nervous or anything. Like, I don't know. Like, I have this, like, questionable feeling like this might be rare. This might be super rare, but it might not be that rare because uh, black moas can jump eight blocks. Or, like, they can have eight extra jumps in the aether. So, like, you know, once you're in midair, you know, you can do eight extra jumps. Whereas with uh, blue ones, you can only do three and with white ones you can only do four so i mean the fact that you get eight extra ones out of it is really really pretty big all right i think this will you know this will do uh, th this will be good for now i'm like stumbling over my words now now of course now that i actually have the egg i do terrible with my commentary but all right so they can't knock me off the edge from here and then you know i got a good view of my dungeon so let me get all of the stuff into my inventory here um there's the freezer there's the incubator. This one's a biggie right now. Um, I don't have that many Abrosium shards. I believe I had a lot of them with me, but I didn't take most of them with me, uh, which was a, a bum move on my part. I'm sure you're all, con you sure? I'm sure you guys have all commented on that one already. But uh, what do I need? What do I need to roast this? It's not the acre petals or anything that I need. It's something else. I'm not really sure. Maybe I doubt it's like anything like holy stone. I'm not really sure what cooks it. Oh, it's the torches. It's just the plain old torches. That's right. I, man, I almost forgot there. All right, so I need... At least I think it's the torches. Let me let me place a few torches in here and see, see what happens. Yeah, that's what does it. I actually have quite a few torches. So I'm going to wait this one out, guys. I'm going to create a few more torches just to have them on the ready anyways. Uh, there we go. That should do. I'm not going to use not going to use too many of them but i would like to have you know a sizable amount just in case i start to run out i can replace them and be good to go all right there we go so i'm just about out of abrosium so there we go all right go incubator go 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 and i have plenty of acre petals too this thing is going to be well fed i'm going to even open up this area a little bit just so that i can uh so i don't have to worry about the <laughs> so I don't have to worry about him like despawning or something like that as soon as he's ready because a, a baby mo is going to pop out of there so I want to make sure it has plenty of room to grow that's what this episode is all about it's there's going to be a lot of content coming up these next few episodes like I don't want to bring the black moa in there and luckily ever since the 1.02 patch uh, moas act exactly like wolves in that uh, as soon as you tame them and you tell them to sit they will sit uh, one more thing we're going to make too is a moa controller this is something that a lot of people have been suggesting that I make. Uh, I, I think it's made, what is it, like this or something? No, that's a sword. Hmm. Oh, I think it's plank plank. Hmm, I'm not really sure, but I'll have to look it up. But uh, I know that there's something called a controller that I can make. Uh, maybe it's just one stick. Yeah, okay. Uh, na oh, nature staff. Nurture staff, is this it? I'm not really sure. I think this might be it. Let me set down my chest so I can get everything in there so I don't go losing it because the aether is brutal. All right, so the nurture staff. All right, no, it's the nature staff, so I'm not really sure not really sure if this is what I'm looking for, but uh, we shall see. I'll do some research uh, while, while this roasts in the incubator, and uh, we shall find out. So I'm going to take a quick look around this area while, uh, while the black moa is roasting here. <laughs> roasting that doesn't sound right at all Ooh, we have another gold dungeon off in the distance there so if i recall correctly my house is going to be the total opposite so my house is actually more or less off that way uh, which is actually really good to remember and uh yeah so i have a gold dungeon off in that direction it doesn't seem like it's going to be very good on the like accessible front so i'm not going to worry too much about that right now my main concern is conquering that silver dungeon because i haven't done so before all right, uh, how close are you? You're fairly close, but I think I got enough time here to uh, take my pickaxe, and I'm going to go mine up some more brosium shards, which are up and over the hill here. Uh, they're actually really close, so I think I'm going to have enough time to do that, hopefully. But I don't want to leave the, the black moa uh, hanging for too long, just because I don't want it going running away from me. 
because I worked I worked really hard to actually get a black moa egg. Well, I didn't work really hard. I got really lucky to get a black moa egg. I like it just happened to be on the recording that ended up working with a silver dungeon that I just happened to find a black moa in the process and it just happened to lay an egg in an area that didn't fall off the edge even though it almost did. All right, you are almost there. Come on. Come on. You are so close. You don't, you didn't, this didn't take nearly as many shards as I thought it would. Uh, I mean, torches. Let me get the pickaxe out of my inventory. I don't want anything in my inventory that could potentially severely hurt this uh, MOA at all. I'm going to concentrate pretty hard on just making sure that this MOA gets tamed properly. So, yeah, it's almost, almost done. I don't think it's going to be necessary to tear apart my walls or anything like that. I think that might be a bit excessive. Alright, you're almost there. You're almost there. Only one bar away. 